Watkins Glen, a community of 3,000 nestled in the historic Finger Lakes region of central New York State. 16 years ago, these peaceful hills echoed the thunder of high-performance sports cars, and organized road racing was reborn in the United States. Today, clothing styles have changed. The cars have changed. The course has changed. But the excitement of high-speed road racing has not. And Watkins Glen, home of American road racing, is ready for its 16th annual Grand Prix. It's time for the legendary sailing six hours of the Glen. It's going to be a big workload today. And there you see Carl Newman. So let's throw caution to the wind. Let's go for it. Shower of sparks. The Ford comes down the inside. A little bit of a lot of that. Watkins Glen is an awesome permanent facility. We're going to have a, a very interesting afternoon. Out high speed, long straightaways, high long corners. The sailor six hours of the Glen is on the line. The rear wheel came off. The rear wheel came right off the car, and this is a hard hit. Oh. They are just at this point hoping that when he comes out, it's all going to be okay. This is not over yet. This is road racing at its best. Here comes Negri. He has to take evasive oh, action. To go. I wouldn't like to make any predictions. Any resemblance to a spaceship is intended. Let's go racing in upstate New York. The six hours of the Glen is underway. Corvette's getting racy as well. Big Murphy's now going for the lead inside of Westbrook. John Edwin takes the lead. Kowski, Donahue, and Scott Goodyear win the six hours of the Glen. Ford wins at Watkins Glen. Barbosa and Law, their first victory in this classic event. Fangio, Dan Gurney's All-American Racers win. Wow, what a race. <laughs> Welcome to one of the greatest spectacles in motorsport.